Princess and her mom, Alexis, were more than just mother and daughter. They were best friends. But after $300 went missing from Alexis's purse, all hell broke loose. You see, Alexis thinks that Princess stole the money, so she punched her. Whoa! Now their mother-daughter relationship is fractured, and Princess can't even go to her own mother's house without feeling like a criminal. So you believe that your uh, daughter stole money out of your purse, and you punched her in the face? Yeah, yeah, I did. You really did? It's a respect thing. You take from me? Yeah. No. No. Do you regret it now? No. No. Hell no. You know, the reason I say that because, you know, when I was reading, you and your daughter were best friends. We were tight. Yeah. Close. Yeah. Very close. So if you look over there, that's my wife and my daughter, right? Mm -hmm. And they, they have the same type of relationship. Best friends, like, do everything, love each other. I can't imagine any scenario, even if my daughter stole money, which I would be deeply hurt, that my wife would punch my daughter in the face. I'm sorry. It was just reflex. Now, you think she stole the money. Um, my wife was telling me that she would like to move back in with you because uh, she needs some help, but that when she comes over, you treat her like a criminal, you're following her around all the time. Yep, Siamese yeah. twins. I'm watching. Yeah. yeah. Are you sure she took the money? It was only three people in that house. And see, it was bits and pieces of money were coming up missing at first, like $20 here, yeah. $30 there. So I set a trap. What was the trap? I put a Winn-Dixie receipt inside my purse. A Winn-Dixie receipt? You know, because they're long. Yeah. And so I let it hang out just a little bit. And so I zipped it. And I put my purse, you know, where I can get it. But I walked down to a neighbor's house, just a parlay. So I walked down there, and I, I was only gone for like 45 minutes. So when I came back, receipt gone. There's only two other people receipt? in the house. It's only two other people in the Why house. Why would somebody steal a receipt? No, they moved the receipt. Oh, they moved the receipt. To get the money, because the money was up under okay. the receipt. And it was $300. And it was $300. So you say three people. It was you? Her ex, one of her exes, yeah. and me. That was it in the house. Wouldn't your first conclusion go to the ex? No, they were too, they were too relaxed when I went up them stairs. That made me, they even angered me even more. Weeks later, I was at a neighbor's house, and when he walked in, I frowned up, you know, because yeah. I, I was mad. But he came and actually sat down at the table, and he was like, I know you're mad with me, but I didn't steal your money, Princess did. What if your daughter passes the lie detector test? I apologize. Yeah. But kind of damage is done a little damage bit, Damage right? done. Yeah. So after, you know, the money's gone, you punch your daughter in the face, like in the nose, or? It was like the eye area. Eye area. I hit him, too. You hit him, too? I hit him, too. Man, you're just swinging on everybody. <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> All right, well, let's meet your daughter, Princess. <laughs> OK, so first of all, you I don't, I honestly do not believe. First up, stand down before it be a man. I don't even believe that you had $300 in your purse. The purse wasn't even real Gucci, Steve. It was fake. <laughs> she was you with me when I bought it? She bought it from the hair store. I ain't buying no damn piece of no hair store. It, she, she was, she had been drinking all that day. I think that she just. Was she intoxicated? Yes, I yeah. think she was just in a drunken fit and had needed a reason to cover it up. She set this trap with the Winn-Dixie receipt. Mm -hmm. uh, that, you know, there was $10 missing, $20. Did you ever, th like, need, like, you know, something from the corner store and you're like, I'm gonna take 20 bucks? No. You never, never took money from your mother? I never took anything Any from chance that. that your ex went into the Gucci, fake Gucci and that's took the, money? <laughs> that's the, that, that's Come my on <laughs> only option. And that's why I, I feel like he came to her out of nowhere and told her that I did it. But do you think maybe he took it? I think he did. Yeah. If it was any money. Now, anyway. did you buy the Gucci purse at a hair store? No. <laughs> you bought it at a licensed retail yes, Gucci store? Yes, I ordered it. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. You approached your mother and said, hey, can I move in with you? Mm-hmm. Well, why did you do that? Um, because I, I know this is going to sound a little backwards. I lost my job because she wouldn't take me to work. About the $300, she told me to... Yeah. Take the three hundred dollars. Because since a lot of yeah. things happened, then you yeah, lost your job. Yeah, she's like, um, cause I asked her to take me to work, and she told me to take the three hundred dollars and buy me a car. And I'm like, what sense that make? For one, why would I have three hundred dollars from that long ago? And second, why well, I'm gonna get a car for three hundred dollars from? And 
Might be a Flintstone dog. <laughs> and, you know, I was going to, I was working so I could pay for my school because I'm going to school for criminal justice. So I'm just like, well, can you at least... I'm like, you know, I don't... I don't have a car, you have a car. Can, I, can you get me back and forth? Help me out a little bit. I'm, you know, I fell down on trying to get back up. She, she just, said no. Yeah, she, no, she said hell no. If you pass, we're gonna talk about a lot of things and I'm gonna give you the biggest hug you can ever have in your life and I'm gonna apologize. But if you fail... It's on. It's on. Can you relate to this story? Need my help? Call 1-888-STEVE-07. Mary took a lie to test because your mom thinks you stole some money from her. Mm -hmm. And we asked you, do you have, uh, I, I gotta ask, who, who, who thinks that you stole the money? Not one person. Oh, Look at that. Now, oh, that's amazing. It's usually one jackass. Yeah, she stole <laughs> Nobody thinks you stole the money. Okay. So Princess did come here and take a lie detector test, and we asked her, do you have personal knowledge of what happened to the $300 from inside your mother's purse? She answered no. Did you go into your mother's purse without her consent and take any amount of money at any time? She answered no. Did you steal the $300 from inside your mother's purse? She answered no. The results came back all the same to each question, and it came back that princess did not tell the truth. What did I say? What did I say? I knew it. I knew it. What did I say? What did I say? First of all, the, no, honestly, the test got. I don't. I, I honestly, I swear what to God. What did I say? I swear I don't know anything about the three hundred dollars. I knew it. I, I do knew not. it. You broke it. I knew take it. anything from me. Why I would I take it, anything I from her when I was the person that was helping her with Why her bills? Why are you talking to me? <laughs> I did. I did not take. Money. You tricked this whole audience. I ain't tricked them. I ain't tricked nobody. I don't. I like. You I tricked honestly, this whole audience. No, I honestly don't care because oh, I know that I didn't take the princess. Money. I knew it. I didn't. That take boy it. wasn't lying on you. That boy was not lying on you. Okay, you believe him. That's fine. Okay. Can I? give you some advice. Mm -hmm. If you were to say, I, I, I took the money, mom, I'm sorry, it'll never happen again. This is what you show what character you have by admitting your mistake and saying, I'm sorry. And I'm telling you, if you tell the truth now, you can repair this relationship. But if you really want to keep damaging this relationship, then you're gonna stick with that lie and it's not worth it. This is your mother. You're gonna live the rest of your life with her. She's gonna be so meaningful to you. All the times that you're gonna create in the future and it could all go away by you admitting the truth right now. You have to have a plus three or minus three to fail. You are a minus 22. <laughs> so that's like lying. I was really that's, nervous. That's, I got nervous, anxiety. Nervous has nothing to do with it. Your, your lying is off the charts. And listen. But I'm the liar. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to help you. Why y'all want to text, test uh, her and see if it was actually a $300? Because I promise you, I didn't steal it, and I bet she failed that it wasn't even, a, it's like something it's is It's something, something that you wrong. wanted my purse that night. I bet, I bet if you take the test and ask if it was $300, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're not going to pay I don't care it. if it was a quarter, two dimes, and three pennies. That was my money. I don't take no money from you. Why would I, why would I? So, what, what was I supposed to have been did with the no, money? No, I know you're embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. Yes, you are. And you should be embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. But you could, you could fix this whole problem by telling the truth. And I get it, man. So many people have such a hard time telling the truth. And you're really going to damage a lifetime of uh, a relationship with your mother that you were best friends with over $300? I apologize that the $300 one is. Wait. Hold on. Apology's nice, but you have to, you, this is where you, 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 you make your bones and you say, I'm, I'm a woman, I'm going to tell my mother the truth, I'm sorry, yes, 
I took the money I shouldn't have. It will never happen again. I'm going to give you one more last chance. Otherwise, the show's over. You got your answers. But I really, I really would like to see her admit the truth so that you can move forward and repair this relationship. Last chance. You're going to tell the truth? I apologize that I took the money. Um, I don't know what I uh, did. It. And I said thank you. Uh, can I just ask you, why did you take the money? I swear to God, I don't remember taking no money. Just, I'm just Were a you pilot. drunk too? No, I was up. I was upstairs <laughs> with my newborn baby. Okay. Well, she's really. I mean, she admitted taking the money. Now she doesn't remember taking the money. Because I gotta apologize. You gonna kick me off stage? <laughs> but, but, but that, that's not even a point. I, I don't want to kick you off the stage. I, I, again, you know, I'm, 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 I'm giving you all the rope you can to save yourself. So I stole money from you. For what? And, but I was still in diapers for my son. I, I wouldn't, don't know, you don't think I would have used the money Because all you had to do was ask me. I would have gave it to you. How do you go forward in your relationship with your daughter? I, don't, I really don't know. I really don't. OK. A anything else you want to say to your mom? I'll talk to her when we get home. Maybe you'll admit the truth when you're off stage. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'll talk to her. Well, I'm sorry. You're a thief. You stole from your own mother. Get the hell off my stage. Um, I really feel sorry for you because this is your own daughter. I, I hope, seriously, that when the show's over and you go back home, that she will admit it to you and that you know, you'll be able to repair your relationship with so. your daughter. I hope so. Good luck to you. Nice meeting you. Very nice meeting you. Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action.